New in WebDE version 5.2.0 is the Java Scheduler Monitor, which helps you monitor the performance of your site. This video shows you the features of monitoring, including the ability to view slow requests, view the call stack to help you troubleshoot, view and clear exceptions, and monitor license consumption. When the traffic light and table turn a certain color is completely configurable, and you can also configure the table to only show the information you need. The traffic light indicator and the table below it reflect yellow or red according to the parameters you've set in the javascheduler.ini file to alert you of the performance status. The Java Scheduler itself processes the queue of connections using a WebShare licensing scheme. The javascheduler.ini file contains global parameters that apply to all U2 accounts on the Redback Object Server computer. Global parameters include connection settings and credentials, SSL security parameters, and settings for logging errors and warnings. Each account section in the javascheduler.ini file contains parameters that apply to connections made to the associated U2 account only. In version 5.2.0, additional parameters have been implemented to help you monitor performance in the Java Scheduler. We'll go over these parameters in a few minutes. To run the performance monitor, in the monitor area, click Start. New in WebDE is the traffic light indicator, which allows a quick method of identifying the overall performance of the system. When the system starts to slow its response to requests, the traffic light shows a yellow light. When the number of licenses gets to a critical level, the yellow light turns to red. The table below the monitor shows the number of web shares that are licensed, busy, or idle, as well as the amount of requests that are waiting. The cells in the table below the traffic light are affected by parameters in the javascheduler.ini file. The slow process time parameter affects the slow requests column. The account requests queued parameter affects the requests waiting column. The average response time parameter affects the average wait response column. The average response time iteration parameter affects the average wait column. The numbers for each parameter indicates which color appears. The first number appears as yellow and the second is red. When you encounter a slow process, the slow requests column appears red. By default, this value is 5,000 milliseconds. If a process time equals or hits this defined slow process time, the column appears red. You can now view the basic call stack for the process by clicking the RBO Process Details button. The Process Information window shows you all of the slow requests that are building up. You can sort these columns by clicking a column header. You can also refresh this window to see new process information that occurs with each passing interval of time. When you select a process and then click the View Call Stack button, you see the last basic subroutine in the call stack where the process is taking an inordinate amount of time. If an exception occurs, the exceptions thrown counter shows a number next to it. You can click to open the scheduler log view and view where each exception is. After you have viewed the exceptions, you can click Reset Counter to dismiss the amount of exceptions thrown. Let's say you only wanted to view the average wait time, average web share wait time, and the amount of slow requests in the table. You can click the gear icon and select Filters, then Table Columns, and use the checkboxes to filter your table this way. This table updates immediately after you click Accept Changes. If you only want to view certain accounts instead of others, you can click the gear icon and select Filters, then Account. When you use this filter, you have to restart the monitor for the table to update. Now we can see only the account that we selected. By knowing how your application should behave, you can set up the monitoring parameter values according to your needs, allowing you to see when your environment behaves outside of your expected performance level.